the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. Now I need your help to get back to the year 1985. Nineteen eighty-five gave us many things, some we'd give back if we could. But that year's most lasting contribution turned out to be just three letters. You've got mail. On March 15, 1985, a computer manufacturer in Cambridge, Massachusetts registered the very first dot-com domain. Symbolics.com fired the first shot in the internet revolution, but it was not the shot heard around the world. In fact, that year, only a handful of others joined in. What helped dot-com take off, eventually, was the simplification of complex numerical computer language, IP addresses. People don't easily memorize long strings of numbers, but we do remember words and phrases. As computers organized around IP addresses, domains needed to be organized around simple extensions. Getting the right domain name became part of everyone's business plan, and domain registrars emerged to serve this need. With the power of commerce behind it, the dot-com domain took off. By 1995, there were 120,000 registered dot-com names, and this number started to grow exponentially. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it. As the Internet's population grew, everything changed. How we communicated, shopped, and saw the world. Through .com, we discovered ways to demystify, download, donate, and discuss. Some of us even found true love. Before we reached today's 84 million .coms, there were some other highs and some real lows. Today, dot-com is thriving, with 1.6 billion internet users around the world. 59% of Americans access their news online. Australians spend the most time on social networks, nearly seven hours every day. Over 13 billion searches were performed in China last year. Nearly one-third of British users bank online. In India, over 16 million people access news online each month. And dot-com is just getting started. Online learning is growing at a rate of 30% annually. VeriSign now processes in eight hours all the web queries it handled in all of 1995. The mobile internet shopping growth forecast calls for online spending of $119 billion by 2015. Back in 1985, the world was introduced to Compact Discs, ET, Molly Ringwald, and Symbolics.com. 25 years later, we have MP3s, Avatar, Anne Hathaway, and more than 84 million registered .com domains. The internet became what it is today not through a master plan or rigid regulation, but through the combined energy and creativity of regular people around the world. And today, millions of them go online every day to connect, communicate, and transact. What will the next 25 years bring? That's up to you. How do you dot com? <laughs>